Hi, Jody here from HealingJourneyServices.com, specialist in women's anxiety and gut health. Thank you for joining me today. This video is going to talk all about saunas and how saunas can be used for metal detox. So it isn't just a fancy addition to your gym. There are some really cool health benefits that we're going to go over today, particularly my secret passion, not really a secret, which is detoxing heavy metals. Okay, so um, before you turn the video, know that if you're alive today, you have heavy metals, so you're gonna wanna listen in, but if you have gut issues, you're gonna wanna listen in even more. Before we dive in, just a reminder that I do have a really cool membership program called Gut Instinct for women who are looking to get to the root cause of their gut issues. So it offers lab testing to you, as well as protocols and online coaching in a group format. So it's a co super cool and affordable way for you to get your gut and gear without breaking the bank. Okay, so let's talk about why you might want to use saunas. So saunas can be a really excellent uh, detox uh, support and they can be great for eliminating mold. It can be great for eliminating hidden chemicals. It can also be really great for a uh, uh, mobilizing metals and getting them out of the deep cellular areas that they're being stored in. And so this is something that I recommend to all of my clients at one point um, during their work with me, depending on where they are in their stage of healing, because it's a really excellent way to detox. So if you have gut issues, if you have energy issues, if you know, you're know you really stuck in your healing, then you definitely wanna tune in. And if you just wanna learn more about saunas, then tune in as well. So saunas, as you know, have been along, around for a long time and they've actually been used for over 10,000 years. Um, so historically, they were pits dug out of a hill and covered in animal skins, which is kind of cool. Obviously, we've come a long way from now. So there are, three types of saunas. So there are the traditional saunas. So these are the saunas. They can be dry or wet. You tend to see in Finland, um, you see them up north in Thunder Bay. Shout out to my Thunder Bay people. Um, and then you also see them at the gym and things like that. Um, so um, they typically heat the air to about 180 to 220 degrees. But what's interesting is that that heat only penetrates a few millimeters into the body. So this is going to be important when we talk about the other types of saunas, which are near infrared saunas and far infrared saunas. So near infrared saunas use special incandescent infrared heat lamps. Um, or carbon to heat the sauna. And they only actually heat it to between 110 to 140 degrees. So if you're somebody who's had, like me, who's had heat stroke, or that really struggles with high heat, this is a much more accessible option. And near infrared saunas actually penetrate three inches into the skin. So remember, with the typical sauna, we're only doing a few millimeters. Um, and so it's um, great for wound healing, it's great for skin health, and it's great for antioxidant protection. It's good for pain and stiffness, and it can actually activate healing energetically at the mitochondria level, which is deep within the cell. Far infrared saunas, um, very similar to near infrared saunas, um, they penetrate 1.5 inches into the skin. So if you're looking at getting a sauna or going to a sauna, a full spectrum sauna is actually preferred. Um, but far infrared is going to be supporting things like mold detox and heavy metal detox. Um, it's great for exercise recovery, blood pressure, and chronic pain. Um, so how do you use a sauna? So first of all, because the sauna is um, dehydrating, you definitely want to be having some sort of electrolyte drink, whether it's Vega or Trace Minerals or something like that before and after you're going into the sauna so that you're not getting your sauna up in a deep state. So I, drink, I have made this mistake cellularly. I was very dehydrated and then I went into a sauna and I felt like shit afterwards. When you're going into a near or far infrared sauna, because of the level of healing and um, toxin mobilization, you want to make sure that you start really, really slowly. So you want to start as slow as you can. So all you need to do is sweat for 10 minutes. 
to get those toxins to start coming out of the skin and then showering afterwards. So I think there's a misconception that you need to go for the full hour to get the benefit because oftentimes, especially if you're going to a, you know, a store that has the sauna in it or you know, a spa that has a sauna in it, you have to go in for the full hour and that's wrong. You actually just need to sweat for up to 10 minutes or minimum of 10 minutes, I should say, to get those toxins mobilized through the skin. So if you're really, really sick or detox and sauning is new and you go in for the full hour, you're likely going to feel it afterwards and you're not going to want to go back again. This was the case for me. So when I was heavy into the line, I actually went into the sauna for a full hour after a massage thinking it was going to be great. And I had like a swollen lymph nodes and I just felt terrible and low energy because I just mobilized way too much for my body to be able to handle. So because we're mobilizing toxins in your far and full spectrum saunas, you want to be taking some sort of binder that's going to go through your body and capture whatever toxins are being released and then escort those toxins outside of the body. Otherwise, what you're going to get is you're going to get those toxins recirculating again and your body's just not going to be able to keep up with that toxic effect. So those binders are going to help get them out. I like to use cell core binders. If you're interested in accessing this, message me below and I will send you links. But that is a really great way to use the sauna um, when you're doing that. And you definitely want to shower afterwards. You know, in one of the summits I was listening to, there was a woman who had been next to a field where they spray pesticides. And uh, several years later, she went into the sauna. And the first time she went in, she literally got a rash all over her skin. And she suspected what was happening was those toxins from that pesticide spray was actually bubbling out, out of her skin. Um, so if you haven't tried the sauna, this is definitely something to incorporate into your detox practice. It's really, really powerful. And it's something that I recommend you do two to three times a week. And if you're someone that can afford a sauna, then do it every single day. This is a practice that can be lifelong. And so it's basically going to be counteracting the exposure you're getting from pesticides on your food, the exposure you're going to be getting from metals and water that you're drinking, from fish that you're eating that have mercury in it. And it's really going to help reduce that body burden of the metals. So this is a really great way to do it. If you have Lyme and mold or gut issues, it's also a great way. Making sure, again, when you're going in, those drainage pathways are open. So your lymphatics are open, you know, you're doing liver support and things like that. But definitely check out the sauna. If you're looking to buy saunas, I recommend the sauna space. And clear light or jacuzzi saunas are also recommended. Um, and uh, so those are some great saunas. There's also Therisage, which has a sauna where your head pops out. But don't, what you shouldn't do is go online to Amazon and decide you're gonna purchase a cheap ass sauna because you're gonna pay for that because they're using toxic glues and toxic varnish. And so you're actually gonna to be toxifying yourself while you're trying to detox yourself. So you're really counteracting that. So when it comes to saunas, more money actually has a much better payoff and it's not worth it for a cheap sauna. It's really not. If you have any questions or if you've had experience detoxing in a sauna or you, you tried it out after this video, I'd love for, to hear from you, Mess message me below.